activities are not expensive. You can do all kinds of things for free. So don't pretend it's a budget item. See to it that every kid is involved, that every kid can participate, that every kid is treasured. I feel privileged to be in the company of some of the most decent people I've ever met. And, uh, and to discover that they know things that I have no idea about. License to lead. I'm so excited to be at CATA. I've never been here before. I've heard so many great things. I'm so glad my principal sent me and I can run the Because we are the biggest kept secret in CATA, we're really going to help you with your activity program. You don't want to miss it. The loss of funds uh, or the mishandling of funds can also easily lead to the loss of careers. Student body funds uh, are primarily operated with a lot of cash transactions. That leaves a lot of exposure to the school district and to our advisors. We want to make sure that we provide them the tools, the policies, and operations that offer them, their district, and their school the greatest protection. And guys, it's not about the activities. That's not what's going to make them great. What's great is what you put into the activities, what you do with them. So I'm a pretty resourceful teacher. Um, I don't get a budget in my Spanish classes. Um, the AVID, but AVID budget is pretty small. Um, and leadership, but there are activities here that give you ideas for fundraising, and so that is something that um, is of interest because we will need to do more fundraising. And I believe that if you can go through this conference and take this information and go back to your school and use it in new and innovative ways as an activity director, that your school will become a safer, healthier, happier place. You're going to see some incredible ideas for dress-up days, lunchtime activities, rally ideas, academic recognition, and some ideas for floats on all-weather tracks. And that is a souvenir for you, Patty. Of today's Charlotte here for Patty, ladies and gentlemen. It's mostly for, you know, a little extra inspiration of why we're doing what we do. Um, but secondly, to meet new people and get ideas because I'm amazed every time how many different ideas come from people who are in our same district that we see here. People are just out there sharing ideas. It's mainly an idea share synergy, if you will. And what I'm gathering for the most part is that's what you come here for. You, you learn the share workshops, of course, but then again, you talk to other people at actual school sites. What are you doing? What's effective? And see if you can incorporate into your own school site. The different uh, meetings that we've been going to have been learning so much, and I've been doing activities for seven years, and it's just more of the networking and seeing what other people are doing and um, you know, getting good prices on uh, the different vendors and so forth. So. can't be here and sit through one session, or one general session, one breakout, anything. You can't sit here and, and watch and, and, and not be energized and be ready to, to pursue you know, what's best for our kids. And, and, and it's just, there's just too much life here. It's, it's, it's regenerating you. It's, it's wonderful. I think the networking is the key for me. Um, this is what keeps us going as activity directors. If I didn't have this group that all spoke the same language that I did, I don't know that I'd go back to my school as energized and ready to, to go back for another year. Because a leader is a change agent. I, you know, I heard you're introduced and clearly your label and title is student activities directors. And yet the more I began to understand what you do and how you do it, I, I think you're change agents who simply use student activities as a way to do that. And then we 
I said, go to the ASB website and download the form if you still need it. And you can link to that. Now my favorite gadget is my smartphone, the Swiss Army Knife of technology. And you can make phone calls, but 77% of our students have these phones. And they also check text messages, they check Facebook, and numerous other gadgets that they have on there. We got to keep up with the kids, so we can't let them just pass us, pass us by. So I think it's good now that we're using the technology and, and we can kind of hang with them, you know, because my kids use it all the time. Facebook is where we do most of our advertising now, so it's just crazy. I have learned a lot about the whole, you know, networking, social networking through going through Twitter, through Facebook. Um, one of the presenters yesterday said that when he looked online, he saw that all of his friends from Cata were Facebooking, like, oh, I'm here, I'm in the ballroom, I'm in the ballroom. And he's like, even though I can't see you personally, I know through the power of technology that you're here and supporting me. So. It's like inspiring those students to use those channels to start sharing that content and connecting to other students. And at the same time, I'm sure there's a video camera on your campus that you could use to push content and also get those students on your campus to be more united in what you're doing as well. The whole technology thing, um, I love technology. I'm trying to get in there and learn it, but being here this year, I've picked up on so many new things that we need to get going at our school, so I'm just loving the technology. The objectives were kind of threefold when I was working on the whole idea of this convention. It was service, technology, and finance. Finance was obvious. Technology, I felt we were a little behind the times. I thought it could have helped out a little bit. And then, you know, James Bond is who he is, but the service itself is pretty huge. Continue to ask for excellence from your student leaders. Continue to develop activities and programs to connect students to school and continue to network with the members here at CATA so you can continue to make a positive difference in the lives of the students at your school. If my school ever said, you know what, you can't go, I'll take sick days, you know, <laughs> I'll take personal time, I'll be here, because it's something that, that that we all need. I mean, this March, we're, it's that time of the year where you're just, your battery's starting to get a little low and you come to Cata and they, they fill it right back up. When you leave this conference, Go back to your schools, go back to your homes, and use your words to help people to never give up. Go human and help each other.